So I am here at Monk's Mound in Cahokia Mound State Historical Site. So there you can kind of see it behind me. And um, this is the largest prehistoric earthwork in America, uh, or in the Americas. So its base covers over 14 acres. It rises to a height of 100 feet and it contains an estimated 22 million cubic feet of earth, which was carried by hand in baskets to lo the location. Um, mostly was built from 8950 to 1200. And um, this is the location of the Birdman tablet. And that's a really famous um, artifact that was recovered here and is now the icon of the historic site. So as I'm uh, walking here to the mound, I'm going to tell you a few facts about the place that I learned from the Interpretive Center. Uh, there were potentially about 20,000 American Indians that lived here, um, and the society lasted for about 300 years, and it uh, was part of a trade network that went across the entire continent. There were seashells found here from, uh, for sure, the Gulf, and it uh, just kind of demonstrated how this society was quite different than what a lot of people think when they think about American Indians living in small communities. 20,000 obviously is quite a large number. I'm at the top here of Monk's Mound and this is where the paramount chief would have lived. So he is uh, elevated up here, obviously, on the mound. You can see St. Louis there in the back. I don't know, it might be a little too hazy. Um, and there would have also been rituals, uh, ceremonies up on this mound. And um, there are other types of mounds as well. For example, ones with more of a cone shape are more of the um, locations of the burials for important community members. Mm -hmm. 